Okay, we're well, today going to be a continuation of the halach of Meiser Geld. How somebody that cannot afford it can still makayim the halacha of, of giving um, a meiser guilt. So the Shulchan Aruch um, in Siman Resh Nun Aleph, halacha yud base, he, he brings over there Shne Aniyim, two poor people, Shechayim Ritan Sdoka, as we learned uh, 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 in this chapter, even the Onya Mispanas Menat Sdoka, Chayav Ritan Sdoka, he, he must give Sdoka. So they both have to give it to the okay, How they can do it? They can They have to, but they can't afford it. So it says over here, Yochol kol echad mehen liten tzedaka shaloy lechaveiroy. They both could, like, like, like uh, similar to Mishlach, uh, Monas, and Purim, you give to each other, yeah? Over here, they could also do this. They, so, so Reuben and Shimon, they're both poor. They both have to give tzedakah, but they can't afford to give tzedakah. They ruin the Gottesh and says, I'm going to give you my Meister Geld, my tzedakah. You give me yours. So I did the mitzvah. You did the mitzvah. We all replenish what we were missing. So that's one way, the choyre, of giving tzedakah, to give to each other. Um, now, where, where is the makor for that? Where, where do we see that we could do that? We could change uh, tzedakah with each other and then be yoytze with that. So it's uh, interesting, there's a, uh, the Mordechai brings the, from Maseches Peya, Perekei, Mishnehe, it says over there, Shnaim Shekibulus Asoda Ba'arisus. Two people, that happen to be poor people, they got the field, those days they used to get the field on commission basis. So, but they're still poor, Alpi Aloha, that whatever they made, they're still eligible for tzedakah, or they cannot afford to give further, they, whatever they earned is hardly enough for them. So it says, then noisen lezechelka maiser oni, then noisen lezechelka maiser oni. You have to give them the field maiser oni, because you're the owner of the field, now you work on commission, you become a shtickle owner of the field, uh, but you can't afford to give maiser oni from your field, because you, it's hardly enough for yourself. So, so the, the, the two um, arisim, the two people that, talk, that they took two different fields or the same field, uh, half and half, half a field and half a field, whatever. Everybody has his own field. They could exchange their meiser only with each other. So that's the makor for this halacha. That's shteani. So there's another way, like I said, only a mispami that's doki cannot give, but he have to give what he can do, exchange. Okay. So that's that's one halacha. But the choyre we see from here, if you remember when we learned about this Indian, we said don't give all the tzedakah to one oni uh, because. Uh, the, the, and that's uh, the Shulchan Aruch himself brings this later on in uh, in Reish Nun Zayin. Halacha test: Lo yiten Adam kol tzit koisov lo oni echad belvad. Don't give your old tzedakah to one oni. And then it says uh, next halacha: Halacha yud amachalek tzedakah tzorich lizor shal yarbe lekroivav yo yuser mishar ben Adam. Don't give tzedakah to your relatives more than mm-hmm. other people. So the choyre, you could say each of them is complement each other. Yeah, you could exchange to with ani and with each other to make up to be yoytze with my circle. But maybe you should make more than one ani. Don't give to one ani. Maybe you make three aniim and tell each, each of them I'm going to give you some, give you some in this way. You all going to do not with one. The choyre, that's one way of doing it. Okay, so that's one way. Of but then there's another problem of, of this halacha. It looks like, first of all, if you look at this aloha on the surface, it looks like it's, it's, it's a repetition. And aloha says, it says, don't give the tzedakah to one person. Okay? Then it says, when you give out tzedakah, be careful not to give to your relatives more than others. You said that, don't give to one person. Okay? What does more mean? Okay, very good. We'll, we'll talk. Okay, very good. We'll talk about it. Very good. Nakuda you bring. Then the Ramo comes, and again, if somebody doesn't go to, to this halacha more deeper, it looks like the Ramo usually he comes to disagree with the Mechaber. Otherwise, if everything is okay, he doesn't say anything. He's masking with him. The Ramo says, and this halacha that you mechalek zdoko, certainly zor shalayarbe lekroivav, don't give more to your relative, more than other people. It says, v'davke gabay. That's another uh, new detail we're learning of here. Only gabay tzedok, uh, cannot give more to his relatives than others. I will call echad, each individual, muta litan tzedakah shaloi or maiser shaloi lemeshirta. You give it to him. If you have a relative, poor poor relative, give it to him. The whole thing you give it to him. 
שלמי שיצא מקרויבב, והם קודמים, not only you could, הם קודמים, they, על פי הלוכה, you have to give them first, they're your relatives, אני אהיה לך קודמים, the more closer to you, the only, the more you're מחויב to help him, כמו שנסבר על סימן ר' נ' א', הוא עושה את זה רדיו ודר, that you could give צדוקה to your father, to your children, after age of six, and definitely older than that, you're not מחויב to, after six, only with the rights that we said, but after a certain point, even with the rabbon, they're already independent, still, if they're poor, you have to give them more than, so it's like this, so the contradiction of it is like this. Mashma over here, the Ramo is saying, is choyer again, without getting deeper to it, Mashma, the Ramo choyer and the Shulchan Aruch. Shulchan Aruch says, don't give the tzedakah to one person, diversify your tzedakah, give it to many. Comes the Ramo says, only if you gabe, don't give it to one person. If you're individual giving your tzedakah, give it other rabba to your relatives. They come first. Mashma, you give it all to one relative. The problem with this, if that's how you understand the halacha, the Ramo contradict himself in Resh Nun Aleph Darche Moshe, which is the Ramo on the tour, it says over there he brings the Mordechai, he says over there like this the Mordechai brings the Gemara in Eruvin, Omar of Kahana Kol Anoisen, Matanoisov Lokoen Echod, Mevi, Rov, Lo'olam whoever gives his Matanas to one Koyen or one Oni according to this also you bring to the world hunger it's the whole idea of Tzedokia Asher, which is this Asher uh, it's, it's a segula for, 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 for Ashiros become rich. Over here it does the opposite. It brings hunger to the world. When you give it to, uh, to one person, you have to diversify your tzedakah. Mm. Then he says like this, Mikan shelo yitan, the Darche Moshe says, calls it koisov lekroiv echod. Don't give it to one relative. Vulaniach shara kroivim, don't give it to one relative, don't give it to one poor man, diversify it. Because otherwise, the whole school of uh, Maisa that gives wealth to you, to the world, other Rabbi is going to be the, the, the adverse effect that's going to bring hunger to the world. Then he goes like this. When you don't give uh, to your relative more than others. So first of all, again, this Dar Chemesh looks also repeating itself, like the, like the Shulchan Oroch did. You already told me not to give to one. When you give to dog, you don't give to one, to give to many. It's the same thing goes twice. And, and again, Ovir Mashma, you mask him with the, with the Shulchan Oroch, with the Mechaber over here. So he, he himself quotes this over there, and then comes to the Shulchan Oroch. No, he says, if, it's, if you are individual, you can give all to one relative. Mashma. <coughs> yeah, yeah. So what, what's going on over here? So Emma says, if you look at the origin where they come from, uh, they're saying that they're not choylek. You're just clarifying over it. Same the same thing. The, the the whole makor of this halacha, don't give it one. That's like I said, it's the mordechai, and the mordechai talks about over there. You might think ani er chokodim. He talks to the gabbai tzedakah, and he says, you 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 in charge of tzedakah. You're gabbai. Money comes to you. You're the central bank. And you're giving out. You might say, you're right, I'm going to give it to you, but I have a relative over here. I'm as a gabbai tzedakah. As a relative, I'll give to my relative first. I'm a chuyab. says, no, 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 no. That doesn't apply to the gabbai. Gabbai, I don't care how many relatives you have, how poor your relative are. You are, you are the central bank. You have to give all of them equally. That's you have a core of it. It's nothing to do with you. Over there, it says over there, look, that's, the, that's the second halacha. The first halacha is... Of Shukhanoroch. Lo iten odom calls it Kosov Loni. Talks about individual. Don't, we're going to see the Ramon is not choilek on this halach. He doesn't say anything in it. Even as individual, you give it, even you have a relatives, Anim, give it to few of them, give it to others. We already spoke about it, whether you give half and half, whether two thirds um, and, and one third, or if somebody, Mamash, cannot afford give anything, so give it, like I said, find few Anim, exchange with them. This way you uh, give a little bit, minimum what you get. Like it's a shlisha, a shekel, a shona. That's if somebody mamash cannot afford to give anything to others. But then that's the first half. That's the Ramadan doesn't say anything about this. Don't, as an individual, don't give it stock to one oni. And that's talk if you look in the Gemara in Eiruvin, it says the mice over there, Daf Samach Gimel, the David the Melech, the Gemara says, give to all his matonas to 
Iro Hayori, that's I think his name was. Here it is. It's going to Omar of Abba, Barzav, the Kola Noisan, Matnois of Lakoin, Echod Mevi, Rov, Oilom, Shemar, Iro Hayori. Iro Hayori was the Rabbi Rashi says of David Amalek. And he says, Oyo Koyen le David. The Gemara says, The David would have a Koyen le Kulam el Loi. What do you mean Koyen le David? It was Koyen. It was only Koyen for David, not to the whole world. The Gemara says, Elo Shoyom Shagel Matnoiso. David treated him as my personal Koyen, my personal Oni. I'm forgiving him all my Maestros. And the Gemara says, Vixiv Basra by Yerov me David. Because of that, one of the reasons, the Gemara says, the other reason the Toysfa says was for the, the Rav. The Gemara says, the says, but there was a, there's another reason why he came hungry. So over there, David didn't give it as a gabba. He gave it as an individual. And there was taina on him. Why are you giving all the, your matonas, even though it's your rabbi, you want to support him, but you have to diversify your tzedakah. You cannot give it all to one place. Okay, that's one. Comes the second aloha. Ha-mechalek, glosh na-mechalek, not a noisen. Mechalek is gabba, it's tzedakah. It's not, he's not giving anything. It's not just his money. All you're doing is umechalek. Your job is to give it out. Hamechalek sedoka. That's caused by the gabay. Sorry, you can't say it's my quarter. I'm going to give more. If you have a hundred dollar to give out, you have ten anim. Each one gets ten dollar. It doesn't matter if you're a relative or not. You cannot give more. But then comes the ramoy says dafka gabay. Aval kol echod individual muter liden zdoka shelo ma'ita shelo lemishi yirtsam ikroiva vem koydin over there also like we said the ramos mask him you cannot give all of it to your relative yeah lemoshali as an individual the same scenario ten poor people in the city one of them is your your relative and you have hundred dollar to give out as a gaba you give everybody ten dollar as an individual you are allowed to give according to the one opinion. That we'll learn in, in also Masechus Pei. I'm going to uh, go over it again in a second. You're allowed to give fifty dollar out of the hundred to the relative. The other fifty remaining you could re divide between the nine remaining aniim. But even the Ramot did not say give everything to one because he himself mentioned this Gemara in in, in the Reish Nun Aleph and the tour over there that you could bring hunger to the world. So so. So just, just uh, by the way, and that that Mishnah also, it's also in Peah. Uh, oh, so so you're right. That's why last time I didn't want to mention. I'll tell you in a minute since you mentioned it. Here's what the, the, the Mishnah says: Mishnah Vav Perakhes in Peah. Hoyo Matzil, as as I said, most before him learned, he took Maiser Oni from his field, Matnas uh, Anim. He wanted to save it. Matzil means he wanted to save it for his relative. Noitel Noitel. You could only you could save, let's say you're taking ten pound of, of, of grain over there, five pound you can give to your relative, the other five pound divide to other anim. Because you cannot take the whole thing to your relative. So that's the idea of giving it, diversifying it. So everybody mask him on this. There's no machlog between Sfardim and Ashkenazim. As a Gabba Itzadoka, you have to give everybody equally. It doesn't make a difference if you have relatives, Anim, in the city. As an individual, you could give 50% or two thirds. The Sefta says two thirds. What you said, 75, you're right. The Pischet Shuva brings such an opinion. You could give 75 and 25, but I believe if you look over there, all the way, even his own lotion contradict himself. I think it was a print mistake. I think it says over there, because otherwise there's no Makor for it. The Makor is this Mishnah or the Tasefta. It says either half and half or two thirds and third. I think it's a print mistake. I think over there it says over there two thirds and third, whatever. Without getting into it, I believe it was a print mistake. So, but whatever, but that's also, I said, how much he could afford. Let's say there's an Oni, that he, he has a hundred dollars to give to Doka and his limut will take the whole thing. He doesn't have any more to give to leave uh, fifty percent or ten percent of it. So we tell him to leave something like we learned from the Gemara um, uh, that uh, that was in Gemara and Gitten. Goises, cut whatever you can. I know it, Mama's cutting through it from your piece of bread, from your clothing. Get something at least to others. And the more you're gonna cut away from yourself. Hashem is going to take away the Simona Anius. All right, that's for today.